Well, hello, thanks for joining us today. So uh, I'm Pastor Craig, and uh, I wanted to start off with a welcome. Welcome to another two-week challenge of a focused prayer time. So whatever time you're watching this, our hope is uh, as you go day by day that you will set aside time to focus on prayer. And for this two-week session, starting uh, here about the end of October, uh, I would like to have us focus on what it means to be a disciple maker. So a lot of the, the prayers that we're going to do, many times they may feel a little bit like repetitive. I'm praying for this again. Well, prayer, I believe, is the heart of disciple making, that we need to be approaching God not only for personal growth, but also for personal requests of who he would have us uh, be discipling. And uh, honestly, to be a disciple, we're going to have to grow ourselves. So we're going to spend each day for the next two weeks, Monday through Saturday for two weeks, really focusing on what it means to be a disciple maker, a disciple of Jesus, and uh, approaching God with our prayers, uh, asking him to not only uh, disciple us through his word, through his spirit, um, but he also would challenge us to disciple others. Uh, so if you are not currently discipling anybody, uh, then that is something I'm hoping that this time will perhaps open your mind and your, your ideas and your brains about what it is that God would like to do through you and who in your life he would like you to invest in. Um, if you're not yet a follower of Christ and you're watching this or you just want a refresher on kind of what the gospel is, uh, you can go and uh, watch a sermon that I did a couple weeks ago. There'll be a link that'll show up on the screen. This would be a chance for you to go and just hear the gospel. Um, the gospel is the foundation of what it means to be a disciple. There is a surrender of Jesus as my Lord and Savior, that I recognize who he is, that he's God in the flesh. I recognize what he did, that he died for my sins and rose again, defeating death, giving me access into the Father if I will surrender my life to him. So uh, the disciple-making journey begins with surrender. And so we're going to get into our first reading for this week. Um, we're starting off day one. Day one is the Great Commission. So if you're not familiar with where that is, you can go to the website and you can click the link, which will give you the daily reading prompts where in scripture you might look for that. Um, we're going to look at Matthew 28, 19 through 20. I'm not going to read those to you through this series. I'm actually going to ask that you take time and go read the scripture. Look at what God's word says. Um, and then there are some prayer prompts. So I am going to start you off with that. The Great Commission is the command of Jesus for us to go and make disciples. So look at the words of Jesus. Look at the command placed to us as believers. And, uh, and then there's three focus questions this week. The first one, uh, I'm going to, or for today, sorry. The first one is going to be, ask God to reveal areas in your life that keep people from seeing Jesus in you. Some of the questions are going to be tough because it's going to require that you ask God to reveal things in your heart. Take the time and I challenge you to listen and see what God might reveal in your life. Thanks for joining us on day one. Let's begin some time of prayer. Wherever you are, find some people, pray together, pray alone, but let's, uh, let's approach God in prayer.